Good morning everyone, this is the Bottle Hawk. I'm out to that old place that I videoed earlier where we found the uh, Ironstone China and unfortunately a, bro a broken Congress Springs. Um, I have something under my pitchfork right now, maybe you could hear it. All right, I'm gonna dig it out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I've gotten down far enough to do a hand search here. Um, oh, I'm not, I'm not confident of this one. Uh, lots of rocks. Well, that's the thing with this area. You do find a lot of rocks. See, that's the sand layer that the bottles sit on. You can see all this loam here. This stuff, you can't get a shovel through. So in case you wonder why I use a pitchfork, I go in through the top loam very lightly until I hit something, and then I'll dig it up. Unfortunately, there's nothing there. Uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, I hit some glass down there. I feel some embossing on it. Now, what I'm gonna do is gotta be real careful and excavate that, and I'll let you know when I have it partially exposed, and this way we'll all take a look at it together. All right, in a minute. Okay, I think we're ready to excavate it now. See, it feels pretty good. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Maryland whiskey. See that? Something Thompson, Baltimore. Let me just clean it off a little bit for us. This is why I do this, folks. Albion, Maryland, whiskey. Uh, I, I can't read the rest. Looks like, I don't know. When I, I'll get back to you on the cleanup, but it is Baltimore. Isn't that a sweetheart? Look at this whiskey with an applied top. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I work for. Right on. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, I literally moved from where I just extricated that whiskey bottle. I moved literally about eight inches and I hit something else down here. I'll try to get to it. Oh, here it is. What is it? What the heck is that? Gee, it's a little air pump. Is that unbelievable or what? You find a turn of the century whiskey and a little hand pump. Very cool. <laughs> wow. Well, I know that this ain't new. Seems like it's made of copper. Wow, very nice. That's a keeper. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, another good sign. Piece of clothing under the ground. What, I don't know. Uh, it is cloth. Looks like an old pair, the way the design is on it. it. Looks like a pair of coveralls, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna keep digging in here. This is a really good spot. Um, all right, I'll get back to you. All right, nothing panned out in that area. So if you watch my previous video, I came back to Ironstone Valhalla, and I'm gonna see what's around here. Um, I only came up with a Lee and Perrins uh, at this point, you'll see that nice black glass bottle there. Unfortunately, it had its top ripped off, broken off. And it was a three-piece mold. I mean, this would have been a beautiful bottle. Unfortunately, it was broken. Nice kick up on there. All right, I'll get back to you uh, when I hit something. Later. Okay, I uncovered a bottle in Ironstone Valhalla. I don't know quite what it is, and it doesn't feel whole to me. Um, and I'm gonna pull it out anyway. Yeah. It's an old container, you know, like a uh, condiment jar. Uh, oops, let me get it. Okay. See if it has any embossing on it. Uh, it says two and four on the base. Uh, I don't see any embossing on the outside. Some air bubbles in it. 
Uh, it gives me a turn of the century look at it. All right, it is, uh, let's see, if it's applied or tooled, I don't quite know yet. Uh, here's the seam. Uh, let me get that seam out a little bit better. I don't know if you could see it in there. There's an air bubble right on it, but the seam stops at the lip. All right, just a little before the lip. Sorry about that, folks. Um, yeah, well, it is a tool top. Again, eh, probably turn of the century. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, everyone, if you look around at the immense woods we have here, acres upon acres upon acres, to find a spot like that, well, it's a lot of ironstone. A couple bottles came out of there. But you know, you have to use a little bit of intuition about where the bottles will be, and you start poking around. And I'll poke maybe two to three hundred times to find a bottle. So this is not easy work. Um, I'm not looking for a pity party here, but I just want you to understand that not every day is going to be um, an awesome bottle day, but you're going to have days like this. You're not going to find a whole lot some days. Other days you're going to find a bumper crop. And I've done that too, where I've come home with a couple of hutches and some blob tops. So, just bear with me. I'm going to go in that direction today. I'm leaving the Ironstone Valhalla, and I'm going to go over that way. There is a major path over that way, and I'm going to hit by there. All right, later. Okay, I was just on my way out, and I said, you know what, I'm not finding too much. And I was doing a couple last probes, and I came up with that. I don't know. It feels pretty good. Oh, no. I don't know. Let me take a look. Wow. I love it. Whatever it is. Oh, it's broken. Applesauce. All right. There's a mustard jar. Oh, well. Eh, what the hay. Worth a dig. All right, probably a Goldens or something like that. I don't know. A little disappointing. All right, there's some embossing around the base, but not really what I'm always hoping for. Um, yeah, I can't read it, but it's uh, most likely a condiment jar and yeah, screw top. Yeah, well, actually a pop pop type top all right there's no embossing on it to see so uh, all right this will stay in the hole later hi y'all literally right next to where I pulled out that condiment jar I see another bottle down here it looks like a milk of magnesia it looks a little looks cobalt Let's see if I could show you the color and the colors not coming out too good uh, you can see it down there. Hey, okay. the leaf stuff falling in there. All right, there it is. All right, let's take it out. Looks like a milk of magnesia. Yep, milk of magnesia all day long. And not a, not too old a one either. But I know who likes these, and I'm gonna bring it home. USA. Yeah. Extremely common, but the color is awesome, and usually you can get a few bucks for them if you went to the auction. So, yeah, I'll hold on to it. All right, talk to you later. Okay, guys, I've been out here for about three hours now, and I hit a bottle on my way out because I can't seem to give up ever. All right, um. It looks to be like a clear bottle. Pretty pretty good size, actually. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extract it a little bit and then I'll get back to you later. Okay, never mind. It was a broken jug or a glass. Very cool looking, though. I was wondering what it is. It's, it is turning amethyst. A little magnesium in there. But, um, Kind of interesting. I've never seen anything quite like that. All right. Um, 
All right, I'm done for the day, and I'll see you at the wrap-up. Later. Okay, after three hours of probing around, here's my special find. This is an Albion Maryland whiskey, and it says Lambden Thompson & Co. Baltimore. Very cool. Nice tool top, blown in a mold. Over here, we have what I think to be a pump of some kind. There's a little finger holds there up top. Now there's a little hole on the side, which I think might have been a hose or, or something like that. But I thought that was really cool. You know, finding it in a spot with the Albion whiskey uh, it's pretty interesting, so it gives me an idea of what the date is. And plus, it looks pretty cool uh, and pretty crude. Last but not least, the infamous Milk of Magnesia. I call them Milk of Magnesia because uh, I have so many, it's sickening. All right, uh, I'll see you later on, and uh, I'll show you them cleaned up. Later. Okay, everyone. This is the Bottle Hawk here. And this is the wrap-up of today's finds. Alright, first off, we could see the infamous Milk of Magnesia. Extremely common bottle, but the color of them is amazing. The cobalt color is very attractive to many people. Now this one is not an older version. As you can see on the base, it says USA. And it also has the Hazel Atlas stamp on it all right so this is not old this is not real old um, milk of magnesia but you see they're very pretty bottles they're really nice and there are a lot of people who love the color and there are a lot of people who really would you know spend a few bucks on them because of the color especially at auctions people like to see them purchase them all right next now this I have no idea what this is it does have a plunger inside and you could see basic threadings on the outside I don't know if you can really see it in this light but there are threads on the outside there if it would focus there you go some interesting threading on the outside but this also screws off of here so something seems to be going inside but this piece comes off and the plunger comes out with it so I'm not really sure what this is now this was today's nice find um, I know it's not real on uh, a real uncommon it's pretty much a common bottle and it says Albion Maryland whiskey Lamid Lamin Ladmin Lamdin oops sorry about that Lambdin Thompson and Co Baltimore but it is an interesting whiskey bottle because it is square or rectangular which is kind of common you'll see the seam running up a corner and not not midway through all right as you see the seam stops there all right that makes it a tool top so they have the special tool they put into the opening and they spun it around to get a nice tooled look Mm. On the base, there is really nothing, but I was surprised to see that it wasn't hinge molded, which means the seam would run diagonally from one side to the other. So I'm thinking that it's probably around the turn of the century, maybe about 19... 
hundred to about nineteen o two three um but really a nice bottle. I really like the embossing on it very very heavy, very very thick um, really nice all right, and just to let you know.